are these guys the QB or not the QB of their current teams next season? Everyone got it? Good. Let's start with Baker Mayfield. <laughs> yes, but he shouldn't be. Oh. Yes, he will be the quarterback of the Cleveland Browns next year. But I'm like, Mike, if they find a better option, they should go with the better option. I'll say no. I, I don't think they're going to give him the money he wants. I think he may find out in the open market. I think he'll be the quarterback for next year. There are mechanisms by which you can keep a guy for an extra year or two. And in the absence of a better option, I think they'll find it. Tua Tagovailoa, Mike. Ooh. Oh, that's a hard one. Doubtful. Whoa. No, it's a yes or a no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good point. I'd There's say, no doubt. I'd say option. probably not. You know, this is a massive, massively important back half of the season. Yeah, I thought he played well against Jacksonville, to his credit. One bad pick. But um, he, he's going to have to play much better. To I'm sorry, Mike, but it's called QB or not QB. Which one are you going? <laughs> no worries. Right, okay, not, not QB. QB. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. He will not be the quarterback of the Miami yeah. Dolphins. They will flirt around with better options, whether it's Aaron Rodgers figure out the Deshaun Watson situation. Maybe even there's a Cam Newton sighting in Miami. But he will not be the starting quarterback of the Miami Dolphins opening day of 2022. I actually say he will be. I, I think the Deshaun Watson thing is going to be interesting to see how things continue to play out. Will an organization actually want to inherit? I know his talent is incredible, but would you want to inherit a lot of those questions that you would have to have answers to is a big question. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's true. But I was once told by a famous head coach there was somebody that was had some bad stuff going on in their life at the time that if they could, they would certainly sign him because he could play. Mm. Um, not QB. I, the, the league does not have any patience with young quarterbacks. Tua might wind up being good still, but there's just no patience anymore. QB or not QB, Daniel Jones, Mike Tenenbaum. Yes, I, I think the narrative on him is really wrong. I, I think he's a young, improving player. I think Andrew Thomas is getting better as his left tackle. Jeez. And who are you going to get? That's better than Daniel Jones. Like, I know there's still some turnovers. Thanks, Evan, for right now. <laughs> yes. But, but, he's but throwing but, some horrible picks but, on the but, TV right but, now. Mike's like, I think he's fantastic. He turnover, yeah. fumble, <laughs> turnover. But who are you going to get that's better than Daniel Jones? Yeah. He, he showed his toughness this week by answering the bell against the Rams. Yeah, here's what I would say. He is a quarterback of the New York Giants moving forward to 2022. Beyond that, I don't know. Watching him up close in person and live, I thought he was okay. Yes, he's going to turn the ball. He's turned the ball over. He went back, reverted back to some of the things he did early in his career. I think they are fix fixable. My only question for the Giants now is, is the organization very seriously, is the general manager and the head coach going to be there? Yep. Because if the general manager and the head coach is going to be there, then that quarterback is going to continue to look the same. Yeah, I I'm ready to give him one more year. I think he will be. Um, that's the question, Key. You're absolutely right. What did you mean he answered the bell on Sunday against the Rams? He showed up and played. And, um, <laughs> I can show up and play. <laughs> you'll appreciate this story, Jay Will. Before the draft, I ran into Jay Billis, our great basketball analyst from Duke. Yes. And he's Duke. telling me how tough Daniel Jones is and what a good player he was. Selling both Duke. And I was Shocking. like, oh, I'm like, this is a Duke on Duke crime. But to Jay Billis's credit, like, he is tough. And I think answering the bell, Jay Will, like, it sends the right message to his teammates that he's a tough guy and he's all in. Why do I get the feeling, like, 10 years from now, he'll be, he won't even be playing football. We'll still be asking, can Jeez. he get over the fumbling problem? Can he, can he can correct the turnover problem? Yeah, he'll be the QB of the Giants because they're probably not going to be able to do better next year. Jalen Hurts, QB or not QB? Nope. They have three number one picks. Could be three of the top 10, and I think they'll be drafting a quarterback. Um, I would be surprised. You know, Jalen Hurts, to me, will be a guy that is a little bit like a Ryan Fitzpatrick. He'll stick around, make enough throws, have a few turnovers. Um, He's an athletic guy, smart guy, but I, I don't think he's a front-line starter. Uh, Jalen Hurts will be the starting quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. I know Mike thinks the three number ones is going to do a whole lot. Number one, there's no quarterback in college football, in my opinion, better than Jalen Hurts right now. There's not one guy that you could draft in the top ten better than Jalen Hurts. Secondly, you're asking to go out and get somebody. Who are you going to get? You're going to get Aaron Rodgers. You're going to trade. You're going to give up a pick for Aaron Rodgers. You're going to go and get – Deshaun, Deshaun Watson, Watson, potentially, possibly. Yeah, if you can do that, then fair game. But I don't know that they're going to be able to do that because those guys are going to want to play in Philadelphia. Yeah, I'll say he'll be the quarterback next year. I, I'm more interested in can Nick Sirianni actually get Miles Sanders the ball so it actually yeah. takes more pressure off of Jalen Hurts to feel the need to do everything. One, th I think QB, but one thing about Key, what you said, 
by the time the draft rolls around, we'll all most of us will convince ourselves that there are two or three quarterbacks you, you need you, to get you, in the draft. Y'all, you, because you but the teams to will people, too. You listening to people that don't know nothing, man. But, listen but to the me. teams will too, right? <laughs> key, listen to me. Key, will the teams convince themselves? And you see what happens every time they convince themselves. Okay, that's what I'm saying. But the Eagles might be one of those teams. Yeah, they got a guy. Don't be foolish. Well, that's a separate issue. Don't be foolish. That's a separate issue. Kirk Cousins, QB or not QB? Yeah, he'll be the QB, but he's a guy that there's a low ceiling on. He's a good player. I don't think he's a great player, Uh, but kind of like the discussion we were just having, who are you going to get that's better? And they're kind of trapped in this conundrum of they're a good team, but not a great team. Yeah, go ahead. Give Kirk Cousins. He's going to quarterback next year. Go ahead. Give him another $90 million for three more years. He's been having a pretty good year. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's having a pretty good year. He's led multiple drives. Some games they haven't finished, but, I mean, they were able to come through last game. He's had a decent year. He's not bad, but come on, man. Kirk Cousins is a starting quarterback in the NFL. He's a starting caliber quarterback. Is he a franchise quarterback? Not exactly. But he's a starting quarterback, right? Is that fair? I think yeah, that's fair. It's a guy. Yeah, yeah but now the problem is, look, you're, you're going against Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, like, right. you have no hope. Speaking of Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, QB or not QB of the Green Bay Packers next year? No chance. Zero. I think he's a QB of the Green Bay. Well, I think he's a QB of the Green Bay Packers. Here's the caveat, though. He has to win the Super Bowl to beat that guy. Oh, oh, if whoa. he doesn't win it's the Super caveat. Bowl, then he's going somewhere else. I, a I large just, caveat. I just feel like the way he's co- comporting himself, like I think he feels like he's made the decision. He's at peace with it. He's talked about – it's really fascinating to hear him say, like, well, they've drafted their replacement in Jordan Love. Like, I think he's just checked out. But that's and he's, a joke. The no, no, I don't think so. him. You know, he – I just feel like he feels like it's over there and it's time to move on. I would really be surprised if he was back. QB or not QB? Jay. Not QB. Denver. I mean, we have thirty. We have twenty seconds. Jameis Winston, QB or not QB? Yes, yes, hundred percent. Yes, and he's I getting agree. Michael Thomas back. Hopefully soon. All right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.